Today is going to be a very short video. It's just a quick question someone to ask in the comments. Someone asked, they live in a place where the sun is not strong enough and they were wondering if they can supplement their energy production by getting one of those bicycles with a generator on it and just cycling. And so I think that's a very good question. After all, remember about a year ago, this video popped up. We've invented a hybrid bicycle that you pedal for an hour and you have electricity for 24 hours. You have this, you will never run out of electricity. The only side effect is you get stronger and healthier. It was a viral video went on and it basically claimed that it could potentially run your entire home by you pedaling for one hour of course like most things in the internet the titles of every single one of the posts with this video was misleading so just how much energy can you produce by sitting in a bicycle with a generator strapped to the wheel well let's find out so a very quick internet search uh, lands you in a Wikipedia page called human power and which explains a lot about the human power and how our bodies produce power not only in the form of physical work but also in the heat that it produces right but we're really not interested in that so we're really interested in the amount of work that your muscles can produce so that it can be turned into electricity right a trained cyclist can produce about 400 watts of mechanical power for an hour or more but adults of good average fitness average between 50 and 150 watts for an hour of vigorous exercise. A healthy, well-fed laborer over the course of an eight hour work shift can sustain an average output of about 75 watts. While some exercise equipment has been fitted with generators, the amount of energy collected is of low value compared to the cost of the conversion equipment. All right, so here we have some figures, but further research, this time on YouTube, resulted in this video. Check it out. Okay. Everyone on positions now. them up. <laughs> so the thing that we can learn from this is that yes, the body can produce enough work to create electricity from it, but, but it is under the one kilowatt per day number and it requires you to do some strenuous work. Now that would do very little in our homes here in the developed countries, right? But in countries like India, rural Africa, then th it's feasible that you could sit for an hour and spin a bicycle and create enough energy for their requirements there. Of course, a lot of those people in those places in the world don't have enough food to sustain a one hour rigorous exercise just to power up their cell phone or stuff, right? So in theory, you could do it, but I think in practice, it just doesn't play well in the real world, unfortunately. So our energy has to come from somewhere else. Uh, the sun shines an incredible amount of energy into our earth every day. And so if we can capture just a tiny fraction of that, it, our times and our lives will be spent a lot better. Uh, not to say that some of us in the developed country need to exercise, right? But I think to think that we can get out our energy as a byproduct of that exercise, I think it's kind of misleading and it's not really going to happen any day soon. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this quick video. Now I got to get back into editing. See you guys in the next video.
At this point, it's a good idea to take care of any issues that the 12 volt wiring might have. With that out of the way, the next thing is wiring. The wiring of an electric vehicle can seem daunting to some people, but with a little planning, it can actually be one of the simplest steps in the whole conversion process. Let's take a look at the main wiring diagram available for this conversion. This type of diagram is designed to show you the connections between all the components, but we have to keep in mind that because it's a generic diagram, it doesn't accurately show the placement of the components relative to each other. Take for example the J1772 charge inlet and the charger. The electrical connections between them seems really short and even though this may be possible and accurate in some conversions, in this particular vehicle the charge inlet will be installed all the way in front of the car while the charger will be in the back.